We begin with breaking news. The state's largest school district has announced it is suspending all in-person learning as COVID-19 cases surge. The Detroit Public Schools Community District is going fully remote starting on Monday. Again, that's Monday. The announcement came today that DPSCD is closing its facility doors until next year. This is the largest school district in the state. There are lots of moving parts here. We're talking about students who could get lost, forever lost. We have 100 schools, 50,000 children, 7,000 employees. We're struggling dealing with the beginning of a couple cases. What in the world is it going to look like when it spreads? At this time last year, I was, my heart was set on going to Miami. I was going to serve, I was going to try a new place. And so that's where my head was. And then pandemic hit and near everything changed. That ultimately made Detroit the best place for me to be. My heart just wouldn't let me leave. Um, when I started, we were completely virtual for ninth graders, starting in the virtual school system, it points out a lot of the things that we weren't prepared for. We've seen at least a 20 percentage point increase in chronic absenteeism, you know, about a 20 percentage point drop in attendance, correspondingly a 20 percent uh, percentage point increase in failure rate. Uh, all the challenges that we deal with regarding inequities uh, linked to socioeconomics, race, uh, we, we see those issues play out on a day-to-day -day basis in our schools, but all of that was magnified, exacerbated in the pandemic. What I think is lost when we move to virtual setting as opposed to teaching in person is this understanding. It's difficult to see who's with you and what they do know, or to speak up when they need help because it can be intimidating. All right, so Micaiah, we are going to go over your report card from semester one. So I'm going to read off your ELA history and science. You're about to read me my grades. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Why you don't want to hear it? Um, I catch on not slow, but I don't catch on that fast. And it was a lot of stuff. It was like, I'm in high school now, so I know the teacher's not going to wait for me. And it was just like, it, all the teachers was just throwing assignments, throwing assignments. And I didn't, I didn't, I knew how to do it, but it was just so many, I could, my mind couldn't focus. How that make you feel? I'm mad. <laughs> Why are you mad? Because I'm I'm trying so hard. Naya is Naya is a joy to work with every single day. She is always positive. She is always students focused. She is always interested in sort of going above and beyond, um, whatever that means for her for her students. Not only is she there at the drop of a hat or know exactly what's going on, but she also has just this way of being able to relate to students and to identify what might be just that thing that if done would do it. She just has a knack for it. What is something about you that you love? I love my personality. Right. What about your personality is so amazing? When people first meet me, I come off as a good person. <laughs> we need more good people. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Um, we were studying Dr. Maya Angelou's Why the Cage Bird Sings, looking at the poem. And in one of our discussions, it became apparent to me that the students didn't really know who Dr. Angelou was. So we took a moment to talk about exactly who Dr. Maya Angelou is and the influence she's had on the Black community and the poet community um, and the power of her words. Get your work done. Study. Put it in the brain. This machine will do anything for you. 
anything. From that moment on, I just noticed a different type of confidence within her. Um, noticed that she was more understanding and wanting to know more about what we were studying. The deeper she goes into learning herself, the better she's becoming at learning the lessons that are a part of her high school experience. When we when we went back home, I wasn't going to no classes because I just, it wasn't, I felt like it was just wasn't for me. But Miss Naya, she was motivating me. You could do this. You got this. And then I'm just like, okay. And then I gave it a chance. I wasn't going to try. Wasn't going to give up. And I gave it another chance. She was just on my head. So I'm just like, okay. And then I did it. <laughs> but I feel like once Ms. Knight started helping me more, I just started opening up in all of my classes. I started asking questions, I started asking for help, and now I just like I'm doing good in all of them now. Without sitting here in the classroom, it would just be not as exciting. There's a type of energy that my city years bring to the class that I think is so needed and I think is so special. On some Fridays, city year will be out and you can just feel it. And it's not like the class isn't going well, it's just they're missed. DPSCD without city year means more children falling behind, more children falling through the cracks. Uh, it means um, more children not reaching their God-given ability and talent. City Year is able to sort of integrate in a way and, and bring a positive energy. I think it's hard right now. I think in virtual service or in in-person service, it's really hard um, for teachers and school staff because there's a, there's a lot of ass of them. I think a world without City Year would be more self-serving. I think a Detroit without City Year would be less focused on the whole child. I think the city year provides that extra ear, that separate moment where you can take the time to get to know the student, to get to know what their struggles are, to understand their passions and their joys, to then influence what they're learning and how they're taking away from lessons. I think the city year really does play a huge role in filling in those gaps, um, taking up those things that are missed, making sure no one's slipping through the cracks. And I think we have a lot of students who would be overlooked if City Year wasn't around. City Year, I envision uh, being one of the strongest partners in addressing the learning loss that we've seen in the pandemic and the re-engagement effort that's going to be needed uh, to keep students back in school and keep them consistently involved in school uh, so that they can catch up. City Year is already an investment priority for DPSED. We invest because we think it's the right investment in order to move student achievement, improve attendance rate, and improve graduation rates. So the philanthropic dollars only go wider, uh, longer, and deeper to go into more feeder patterns, more schools, and more classrooms so more students throughout DPSCD can benefit from city years uh, intervention and support.